Hello everyone, my name is Lars Heth, and welcome back to Europa Universalis 4 and episode 7 of our Rights of Man Naples campaign. So let's get started. Um, I want to maintain relations with France. Um, so unfortunately we didn't get to declare the war that we wanted to against Castile because France, you know, saw their opportunity. I mean, I can't really blame them to be honest. They saw their opportunity and declared war on England. Um... But that's fine, we will still be able to declare war on Castile at some point. Um, I mean, we could. Wow. Papal State has got war exhaustion. So we'll give it a little while before they have to join in on this war. Um, how much do... How many... What's their manpower and whatnot looking like? Uh, Papal State. Or no, it's the Papal State, isn't it? They've got not a lot of manpower. Um, so I'm going to wait a little bit to allow them to get back some of their manpower. But then also that would allow me to get some of them, my manpower back. So I don't really have a huge amount myself. Come to think of it. Um... Yeah, we're just going to build more temples. We'll get a temple on all of our provinces. That will increase our land force limits. Hopefully, at some point. That's based on development, is it? I'm not sure if there's anywhere that actually tells you. Like, let's have a look. Oh, there we go. Independent nation from nine provinces. But it doesn't tell you what aspect of those nine provinces gives you more force limit. I think it's development. Possibly. Um, right, what am I doing? Why is... Why is our Genoa thing... I'm pretty sure this is a bug. Where your navies... Will go back to port. After protecting trade. And then they'll just sit there and they won't move. I'm not sure if it happens to all of them or just some of them. I think it's only some of them. Uh, let's bring all these guys back here and join them into an army. Uh, not an army. Navy. That's the one. I know my words. Hunt pirates in Genoa. Oh, damn it. Our agent in Castile was discovered. Uh, would people join the war now? People states still have quite a lot of war exhaustion, I guess, so it's probably not a good idea. Mantua want to hire Condottieri against Milan. They probably won't be able to afford <laughs> it. Plus, somebody else will probably take them up on their offer pretty fast. God, I would love to, um... force Castile some problems with the support rebel thing, but... I don't think... I think they've already quashed a few rebellions, so they'll have a, a minus 100 unrest modifier, which basically means there's no chance of us. Uh... Aww. I like how when your generals died, it tells you, uh, you know, comes up with some sort of thing telling you about what your generals, you know, achieved and how they died. Um, although I... I I may have done that before, and I may have just, like, skipped over it. I'm fairly certain it hasn't, though. Um, land Force Limit Modifier. Lovely. I'd quite like to get that extra discipline one before I go to war with Castile. Uh, recruit time, minus 30%. What is our... That's fine. Basic financial instruments. What is our... Um, what was I going to look at? Force limit now. So it's 21. Not 20. And it's 29 for Navy. Um, Clergy gains 10 influence. I wonder if I can get something from the... Demand military support. Let's do that and then call it Diet. And hopefully we won't get any mission, any events that give them an extra 10% influence. Because that would not be ideal. Um, I probably want to demand diplomatic support from the burgers. So I need to catch up on Diplotech. We are quite far behind. Mainly because we've we focused on admin and we focused on... What's it called? 
uh, military, but we haven't focused on uh, Diplotech at all. Given the time, a solution will present itself. Um, so we'll take stability hit, but we'll just buy it back. Um, actually, we'll go for another stability, because we're ahead on tech by miles, like nine years ahead on tech. And we were, you know, we're already, we've got plenty of admin power. So we see the development or stability. And as we've got a stability cost modifier, I think it's what, minus 20% or something, 15%. Uh, Aragon's opinion of Naples changed by minus 50. That's fine. I don't care. What you gonna do? Let's... What else can we build? Uh, hmm. Production, maybe. Oh, yes. Production in Napoli. That's a nice big chunk of money there. How much are we making each month now? Seven ducats. I mean, obviously, oh, wow, almost eight, actually. But obviously our army is only on, um, well, it's on lowest maintenance. So I, I wish you could do that for individual ar armies. Oh, our king's like living to a grand old age, isn't he? Good chap. Um, I sort of really need to use this stuff against Castile. I think I'm going to do a Castilian Noble Rebels one against Castile when I have enough money. Just for funsies, really. And to use up all of this stuff I've got sat around. The spy network. What's it? Wait for one more month. There we go. There we go. Support Castilian Noble Rebels. Are they okay to go to war yet? I don't know. Papal states still have lots of war exhaustion. That's not ideal. You can do better, Papal State. Right, so we have our offensive ideas. That is done. Um, we now need to catch up. Wow, we're only... Actually, no, we're on par, I think. No, or we're one behind on military tech. We are one behind on military tech. So we need to catch up on military tech. Yeah, definitely. Especially against Castile. I suppose the good thing is that this military tech doesn't it's only f it's fire and shock it would be worse if it was um what am i thinking of uh tactics difference that'd be quite bad uh lose money not ideal but worse things have happened at sea Uh, buildings. Do we want to build probably another production thing? Where else, does anywhere else make really a decent amount of money from production? Not really, to be honest. Not really. Um, <clears throat> is it worth him then, in which case, building some more? Yeah, maybe we'll build a barracks there, just because, might as well. No reason not to. Oh, come on, Papal State. Hopefully, a Portugal in a war of their own. They are, yes. So, oh, that's lovely. So Portugal won't join, unless their war ends pretty fast. Portugal will not join. Which means that hopefully, what am I doing? I'm clicking the wrong person, aren't I? Hopefully, once Papal State join, it'll be us and the Papal State and France against Castile, Aragon, and Florence. They're war exhaustion. They only need to drop two more points. Oh, one more point. Ottomans annexed Crimea. Right, I'm going to increase army maintenance. I'm going to get a new general. Move him here so I can quickly jump that straight before any of their navies can get around. 
Um, I'm going to get these guys to come back over here. Just because I don't want them getting killed. Particularly. Um, only one more. Come on. Right. Let's... They will. Yes. So I want Messinia. I'm going to try and take all of these, but certainly these three I want. Portugal won't join, so they will decline. Oh, this is lovely. Because that will split up their alliance, at least for now. Yes, and I've managed to bridge the gap. Ionian Sea. Who got destroyed in the Ionian Sea? That was my navy from... Ragusa. So I'm going to have to build some barks. Three. Um, yeah, no, that's fine. For the moment. So hopefully... Okay, so the Papal State looked like they lost against Florence. But hopefully France... Oh, and they're giving us subsidies. I love them. I love them. I really do. I'm about to, uh, again, max out on diplo uh, admin power. Um, sorry, I got distracted. What am I doing? Um, I need something to spend this admin power on. Wow. Oh, no, that's Diplo power for war exhaustion, isn't it? Um... Choices, choices. How's this whole institutions thing going? Colonialism hasn't popped up yet. We're just going to have to develop some provinces, aren't we? Really? Um... go. Ooh, okay. I'm going to jump out and help in this fight. Yeah, it gets us a nice prestige. And then we'll jump back into port. <laughs> that was a bit cheeky. I like it. So once we've sieged down these three, we will jump back across onto the mainland I was going to say and help the Papal State, but the Papal State seemed to be beating... Uh, no need for reforms. Gain three inflation. That's fine, actually, because inflation is admin power that we can use to get rid of that. Ta-da! Got plenty of admin power. Get rid of it all. It looks like the Papal State are uh, doing quite well against Florence. Right, Messinia is down. Each time Syracuse and Palermo. Right, that's fine. Let's go and help people. Actually, you know, I'm going to sit here for the minute. Do I? Maybe? I can't actually get round to there, can I? Hmm. What are the navies looking like for Castile? Oh, they've got, like, no troops. Oh, no, they do. Sorry. Where is their navy? Because I could... How did that even happen? I'm pretty sure I didn't select all those navies. Um, so you can go home at war and protect trade in Alexandria. Alright, I'm just trying to join these things together and protect trade in Ragusa. I'm fairly certain I had another ship being built. Oh, go home at war, you idiots. Right, um... We can... Land theft. Who's stealing what? Calabria. Where's Calabria? Go.
I have to... I have to side with the clergy because the nobility have got too much loyalty. Basically. A bit annoying. Um, Diplotech, we will do that. Oh, there's going to be a naval battle up here. Hey, we won. <laughs> I helped. In almost no fashion whatsoever. Um, I probably want to get military access through Milan and Savoy. Let's go through there and help France. Um, let's get Florence out of this. I don't think we've got any troops left anyway, have they? So, Florence. Uh, do people State actually want any of this land? They've got claims on all of it, actually. Florence. Oh, look at... No, I'm taking the money. Sod Papal State. Sod the Papal State. Uh, Florence will null all treaties with Castile and give us money. Holy hell. Oh, I only got 90, uh, 94 of this. And I guess Papal State got all of that. Never mind. Never mind. Uh, Papal State... Oh, Preston, you come to their in the Savoyard Conquest. I can. I'm going to decline because I want to stab Papal State in the back eventually. I need to win the war I'm currently in. Is there anything I can do to annoy... Castile. There isn't, I don't think. Oh, yes. On the upside. Demands exceed war score. Well, I know that, but... Hmm. Huh. Okay. I could do this. Uh... Family secret. What's the claim strength of my heir? Can you actually see that number? Oh, he's still got a strong claim, so that's fine. Oh, you son of a... Okay, so I can... Yeah, next military tech. That's cool. That's fine and dandy. Uh, I'm rebels. I'm fine for rebels. Milan's opinion of us. Let's increase our opinion. Milan's opinion of us. Revelations. Is there anything I can get for 50, 50 papal influence? Mercantilism. I'm going to get that, actually. I'm going to get some mercantilism. How much manpower France got? Um, the Papal State. France. Oh, God. France have got loads of manpower. I suppose that's what happens when you're intelligent and you use mercenaries, unlike me. Castile. Less manpower. Aragon. Even less manpower. Good. Happy with that. Happy, happy, happy. Um, do I try and, like, zip down into Castile? Hmm. 
I want to try and bait them into attacking me. Well, that didn't help. <laughs> I genuinely can't believe I just got stack wiped. I, I just got stack wiped. Oh my god. Um. So, never mind. I guess. Let's build our army again. My god, I can't believe that just happened. That was like an insta stack wipe. That was pretty amazing. Color me surprised. Uh, we need to buy some... Cannon? One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two. There we go. Fine and dandy. It's all going well. It wouldn't surprise me if France can take on Castile and Aragon and whatnot all by themselves. Right. Take two. Uh, what's this technology I can invest in? It is admin tech. Well, I can't do that because I'm ahead, really. You want to let me take your stuff? Uh, how oh, we can support rebels again. Castilian peasants. I think, we, yeah, we're going to support Castilian peasants. France, for some reason, are getting their absolute asses kicked. Hmm. A bit weird. We're going to have to be a bit more tactical about which battles we start, <laughs> rather than get ourselves stack wiped, I think. Um, so we're going to pay close attention close attention to where France goes, so I'm going to turn the speed down, and in the next episode, we should be able to finish this war up quite quite nicely. Um, once we start sieging down, because we're just going to continue to get war score, I think, we've got 12.2 more war score we can get. I think we should be fine to um, win this war. Because, the, well, I mean, the Papal State have done their job. They're fine. France, they've got slightly high war exhaustion, but their war enthusiasm is high, unlike Castile and Aragon. Um, so, yeah, in the next episode, we'll see if we can end this war and take all this land that I want. <laughs> um, but in the meantime, thank you very much for watching, and I will speak to you in the next one. Take care.